And now it's time for some things in the news that caught my eye. And if you are a bit nervous about all of these new subscription-based software packages, I've got some stuff that should continue that anxiety. Uh, Matt Razak here, who's Kupo Games on Twitter, got an email from Adobe the other day that said he's no longer allowed to use software that he is paying for. He says it's time to cancel his subscription, he guesses, and he put up this notice that he got from Adobe because they knew he was working with some older versions of Animate, which I believe is Flash CC 2015, according to his annotation here. And they're saying that he is no longer licensed to use these old applications and that he could be held liable uh, for infringement by third parties if he continues to use them. And they tell him to go and download the latest versions of those applications to be in compliance. And I think this also is applying to some versions of Photoshop as well. I'm not sure if this applies to versions of software that you were able to purchase from Adobe in the past. I think this might just be creative cloud applications, but there's often a lot of good reasons why you might want to run an older version of something for compatibility or something along those lines. And all of a sudden here, you've got software that you were legally allowed to use and download, and suddenly they pull the license from you and tell you you're going to get sued if you continue using it. This is a big concern because we're not owning anything anymore, and these companies can just take that license away and prevent you from using those applications. This was certainly of concern there. Uh, now, apparently where this is being uh, originated from is a lawsuit that Adobe is involved with right now with Dolby Laboratories. Apparently, Adobe licensed some Dolby software technology for those applications, and this happened in the middle of Adobe's transition from paid software to subscription software. Dolby doesn't like the fact that the revenue they were getting from Adobe changed, and they're suing now Adobe over this, and apparently this is all springing from that. But again, it really raises some issues about the future of software and ownership, and it's why I'm very concerned about subscription-based applications, especially for things that a lot of us depend on for our workday. And I'm seeing more and more examples of subscription-based software making its way into productivity applications. It's becoming a trend, unfortunately. Uh, so this week, Elgato released a Stream Deck app for the iPhone, uh, which allows your iPhone to basically perform like their hardware Stream Deck device. Now, if you're not familiar with Stream Deck, it is a a little box that allows you to switch camera angles for live streaming and it looks like they're putting that functionality into an app now and I understand why they wouldn't want to cannibalize their hardware sales but nonetheless you've got $2.99 a month here uh, just to use a very basic application which I think is kind of ridiculous. I would much rather spend $30, $40 on a very useful app that can increase my productivity and then if they add features that further increases my efficiency and productivity, I'm more than happy to pay for those additions. I do that all the time with my TriCaster. Every couple of years, I upgrade the underlying software by paying for it. Uh, and I would like to see others continue on that path because I don't really like the idea of paying out all this money, having nothing if I stop paying them, and have no real guarantee that the money I'm investing will be returned in value. Uh, but, unfortunately, this looks like the way the industry is going, and I guess we just all have to buckle up and get ready for it. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.